Alright, Tanner, just how deep does this conspiracy go? The U.S. state of Mississippi does not have an official state flag following the retirement of the most recent version on June 30th, 2020. Oh. So that's for the Wikipedia article, Flag of Mississippi. Why would you... I mean, I guess, I guess in the grand scheme of things, having a state flag isn't important. But why won't you retire the current one after you announce the new one? I don't know. It's too much work, Tanner. And a commission has been established to design a third. You know, this was all supposed to be a lead-up to a joke. <laughs> but, but, the, the, just, clearly it went wildly off the rails. <laughs> So anyway, this is the, the, the flag of Mississippi. It's basically just the French flag, but with a small Confederate flag in the top left corner. Gotcha. Understand. Well, so why they'd want to retire that? My proposal, uh, obviously there's probably going to be a big uproar amongst M Mississippians over retiring it. Yeah. Uh, my proposal that will, I predict, will reduce the odds of there being any... Uh, any hard feelings against it or resistance to a new design that I, I predict it'll decrease those feelings by uh, 1776 percent okay uh, just replace a small confederate flag in the top left corner with uh, a small american flag <laughs> in the top there left you corner. go i don't know if that would look good but i think it'd be funny and i think it's worth doing it would be very haha -ha either that or just take it out keep the colors <laughs> and so that mississippi shares a flag with the french and then just listen the entire world except for france if you're in or from france uh please stop listening right now uh, here's what we're gonna do mississippi they're they're gonna make their flag just lo look just like the french flag and then what you what what nico and i and you guys all you the rest of the world at home every time we see the french flag your immediate reaction needs to be oh is that the mississippi flag <laughs> that, sounds that, like, that sounds like a good idea. wouldn't that be hilarious because the french will be so mad they're like oh no this is not mississippi this is this is the french flag wow I don't know why I did a friggin' Wario noise at the end of that sentence. Wow. Now, Nick, are you doing 15-minute episodes? Yeah. Dude, we got stuff to do today. Uh, I guess so. I guess I can cut it back a little bit. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, that's that topic. Very funny. Tanner, what's that whole racist mouse thing that you've had on the back burner for a while now? Mickey the Controversy Mouse? Yeah, that one. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know if I want to do it, I gotta be honest. It's about reparations, and it's, it's a pretty spicy take. If I am going to do it, I don't want to do it in a Mickey Mouse impersonation, so I'm going to take that one off. Okay. Anyway, my hot take is like, you know... Want the Civil War count as reparations? Nah. A lot of people, a lot of people fought and died in that to, to end slavery, you know? Do, it in a do we Mickey really Mouse need to pay head. you guys, too? Do it in a Mickey Mouse I'm voice. not doing a Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> Do it. The people love it. That's because I, I I assume you're not you're not in favor of reparations either, right? Yeah. Just and like honestly, like this is not my go-to argument. My go-to argument is uh, the the problems many Black Americans are facing is not that they don't have enough money; it's that they don't make enough money, and so reparations. I'll just give them money. So they will have more, but they won't be making more, which will solve nothing. It'll it'll make them not have to worry. It'll make... Well, okay. A small number of people will certainly be able to take that money and spin it off into making more through, like, starting a business or whatever. For the vast majority of people, it just means they don't have to worry about their bills for a, for a couple months, maybe depending on how much money it is, and then they're right back in the exact same situation. So, so reparation, like, it's symbolic, purely. I don't know, Tanner, if you gave him, like, Jeff Bezos money or something like yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Then, uh... But, yeah, sure, if you gave him enough, yeah, that would solve everything. But that's not, that's obviously not realistic. Are you sure, Tanner? I don't it's know. the government, they can just print money, can't they? They can't, yeah. That, that's what, what modern monetary theory is about. Yeah. Since the government makes all money, they can just... Since... What is it? What is modern monetary theory? It's like, since the government prints money, and they're the ones in charge of enforcing loans or something, they can just keep making money forever. Yeah, exactly. Or whatever. 
I had to take Hild off the front line since she's just killing everything and no one else will get XP at this point. It's really funny. Anyway, that's my idea. Gotcha. It's a, I, I, I probably had better points, but it's been a while since I came up with that one. It's okay, Tanner. It's all anyway, good. say no to reparations in the form of money. Say yes to reparations like increased access to education or, or better access to like business loans. What I think would be a good idea is let's build trade schools in, in like, poor minority neighborhoods, eh? Yeah, there you go. They, like, Attaboy. friggin', you know, plumbers, electricians, they make good money and they don't need expensive educations for it. Go do that. Dude, I love plumbers and electricians. <laughs> you can tell I was gonna say something and then decided against it. That's why I like Mario. I don't like how all of my hot takes revolve around black people. Because <laughs> I'd say out of all the minorities, I like them the most, so I don't know why I have so many opinions. That's right. Those, you freaking Swedes had better watch your back. Tanner has a particular yeah, bone to pick I'm a, with I'm you. I'm a self-hating Swede. I am a race traitor, if ever there was one. <laughs> there we go. Another level up. You think you think we're ever actually gonna get canceled, Nico? You think uh, it's possible? I mean, you might get canceled. I might get canceled due to association. <laughs> I feel like if anyone's gonna cause us to get canceled, it'll be you. What? What have I done? Or maybe it'll be me getting blamed for something you did. There we go. Shoot, who can rally? It's they'll see your brown skin and deflect off you onto me. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be very kind. I would. It wouldn't. But don't worry, Nico. The, we, we, we know how to deal with being cancelled. Yeah, just don't just deny, apologize. Deny, deny. <laughs> don't apologize and deny you said anything. Yep. Shout out to Terry Crews. He's doing it right. That's right. Dude, Terry Crews is excellent. Terry Crews is a pretty cool guy. I like him. I saw a wacky Twitter video. It was like... It wasn't... It was probably... I don't know how long ago it was, but it was a couple of years at least. Yeah. Of Don Lemon. Wait. Is his last name Lemon? Lennon. Lennon. No, I think it's Lemon. I actually have no idea. Wait. Hold on, I need to pull this. Is his last name camera. actually Lemon? Don't make fun of the man Tanner. He didn't choose that last I'm not, name. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I just, it is Don Lemon. There you go. You'd think people would make fun of that more than... More than... I don't see anyone ever make fun of his, his last name. That's crazy. People are understanding, you know? Anyway, it was a video of him from years ago making the exact same points Terry Crews is currently making. And then, and then, and then you know, he interviewed Terry Crews recently and people were, were like, this interview's bullshit and, and you were unfair to him. I didn't see it, so I wouldn't know. But that's gotcha. what people are saying. It's just funny how things change. I mean, you know, as they say, Tanner, the times, they are changing. The times, they are changing. Did I make my joke on the channel about how, uh, uh, Billy Joel? Far right libertarian positions like open borders and abolishing private police are now also far left yes. positions. Yes, you did. That's it. That was in our Last of Us playthrough. Gotcha. That's when we talked about Ben Shapiro leading the charge. Ben Shapiro leading the charge. That's right. Is that what you titled the episode? I don't think I did, no. Okay. Maybe I put Ben Shapiro in the title. I don't recall, though. That'd be a, we'd probably get some hits on that one. <laughs> Just really confused old people being like, where is the Ben Shapiro? Why isn't, he, de why isn't he destroying these zombies? Zombies. Yeah, because there was in uh, Last Wars. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. There were zombies in Last I feel like if you and I fused into one person, we could be Ben Shapiro. <gasps> I don't know, Tanner. Could we? How many Ben Shapiros Shapiro's do you think you and I could take in a fight? Um, I mean, he doesn't seem like a particularly powerful man. He, d he definitely isn't. He's very short, right? Yeah. It's like 5'5 five five or something, I think. Yeah. I feel like I alone... He is a full-grown man. Yeah, he is. I could probably... Not all at once, but like one after the other. I could probably fight like three, maybe four Ben Shapiro's. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh... 
if we're doing them all at once, then I think like four could do. But uh, any yeah, more between than that, the two of us. And really, what would be is you would distract three while I try to take on one as quickly as possible and move on to the next and the next. There we go. Nico, how many adult women do you think you could fight in one v ones, one after the other? Um, wait, so that I have something I could do. What right there. It? I just saw. It. There it is. Hell, it did. Oh, I don't have any more advanced seals. That's the issue. You gotta go buy them. I can't do it now. Damn it. Grab it all the hell. Well, you gonna give me your answer? Uh, adult women. I yeah. mean, so assuming they're like average height, right? Yeah, well, like, let's say average, average height, height, average, average fitness. Yeah, all okay. that. Or, I don't know, do we want to do all of them average or just say average out? <laughs> So like can be all different sizes and builds, but they average out to what the average is taken I mean, together. You get like, That's a lot of variables. We'll it is say, a lot of variables. We'll say they're all average high, average build. Because okay, yeah, cool. I feel like if you run into just the right woman, you get taken out. Exactly. <laughs> Let's throw that on a shirt. If you run into just the right woman, you get taken out. <laughs> that can mean anything you want it to mean, Tanner. Literally anything. Anyway, how many? Uh, how many? Um, your girlfriend is probably the epitome of what an average woman is like. Yeah, right? probably. I can take her in a fight for sure. <laughs> how many of her one after the other could you take in a fight though? Tell me, Mary. I don't know. Maybe like six of them. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm That's about what I'd say. Six. How many bench heroes could you take on your own? On my own. Um, I think I could fight two of them. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I feel like I could do that. So you think, so you think, one Ben Shapiro could probably take on three of your girlfriend? Exactly. Okay, okay. Ben Shapiro does it. He, he's got a little bit of me on him, you know. I don't know if there's a limit to the number of women I could take in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> you can fight them all. You'll eventually get tired. Yeah. Uh -oh. I don't know. Like how how easily do women pass out when punched. <laughs> I've never hit a woman, so I really don't know. This would be valuable life experience. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd assume they can take more hits than uh, you're led to believe. Probably, yeah. Hmm. Oh, is that the entire thing? Okay. <laughs> they have higher pain tolerance. Yeah, they do. But is passing out due to pain or due to actual injury? Like getting knocked out, right? Yeah, it can be both. It, it, it's variable, you know? I feel like women are really bad at protecting their heads, so I don't know if they're any good in a fight. I mean, it depends on how much experience they got, you know? I think that... I think your average woman has zero to perhaps even negative fight experience. I mean, I don't know. I feel like far more women than men will be taking, like, self-defense classes. Well, you know? yeah, but, like... I don't believe that martial arts actually does anything for you. Well, it depends on what kind of fighting style you're learning. Like, Taekwondo or something like that, you ain't getting nothing out of that. <laughs> I, I think as long as the person attacking you is A, not stupid, and B, sufficiently motivated, I don't think any martial arts is really going to do you much good if if they're, like, bigger than you. Nah, like, there, there's some that can. Like, uh, what is it, jujitsu or whatever? It's all about grappling. And yeah. Like, you know, once you're on the ground, it ain't over, Tanner. It ain't over quite yet. <laughs> but in the meantime, Manuela and Sylvain will be talking a little more in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.